organizing the chaos and confusion of life, all the, the balls that you're juggling, all of the unknowns about what could happen, what might happen, what if scenarios, all this confusion up here that just clouds your confidence, it gives you doubts, it, oh, how do we, being powered by imagination technology, organize the confusion? Organize the mind, organize your mind. How can we understand our thoughts and master the confusion? How can we clean up this mess? How I did it was looking at it in the language of passion. Because when you're overwhelmed by the barrage of worries, concerns, all that neurotic activity that keeps you pinballed in, in a cage of, of your own shit. It can be hard to see outside of that. So organizing the confusion comes down to looking at your passion in terms of fear and love. When you look at passion and the disarray, the dis-ease that you're experiencing when you're disorganized and feeling all the ramifications of being, being late all the time, being impatient, uh, not being able to find things, feeling lost, feeling confused, all that shit. It is, it comes down to the fuel of your passion and how clean or dirty it is when it comes to the passion. So organizing your mind or cleaning the passion is less about trying to add information to the whole mess and disarray of the chaos, but more about how you can start to subtract what no longer carries your attention anymore. If, if, if all these thoughts represented these programs, these TV shows that you're watching, what muscle is that that allows you to tune out, to unsubscribe from these things, to lessen that load that you're carrying by actually being conscious to what you prefer and not prefer in the realm of your thoughts. And empowered by imagination technology, this is what it's all about. It's about cleaning that passion. It's about training your understanding of your own freedom. And it's about unlimiting the performance walls that represent the disorganized unconscious activity, the patterns that are your survival and comfort zone of who you thought yourself to be. Maybe, or most likely, not the truth of who you are.